Welcome back, people. If we ever find uh-huh. a rap group, we're just going to call it Good Noise. Good Noise. Yeah. I like it. Yeah. It makes sense. Yeah. yeah it does it's so it. simple that it's like... And that it's complex. You were. It's a conundrum. A, a, a conundrum. TPSG word of the day. Word. <laughs> a conundrum for your eardrum. Bars wow. are Wow. We, we dropping bars already. We, we, See all uh, Koch records and... Word. Wow, all these record labels, I'm thinking Koch right now. <laughs> Cash Buddy, Word. need to sign my nigga Flock of Zulu. Word, and what we going to name the record company? Mm, that, you know what? I don't know if that sounds better. Sound be- sounds better as a record company. Name or a rap group name? I don't know. It, it, it could go for both. True. Either way, this is <laughs> <laughs> Flock of Zulu, a.k.a. Nicodemus, a.k.a. Pablo Escovich, a.k.a. Sir Black Style in the Third, a.k.a. No More, a.k.a. Stop the Violence. Blup, blup. And it's your man, Jormatic, a.k.a. Black Galifianakis, a.k.a. Wave Chappelle, a.k.a. Wave McGrady. AKA Indian, no do rag necessary. Hashtag Word. natural waves. Word. Only half the squad here. Yes. Um, you know. Mr. Bumai is still on his Sasuke flow. Word. I love word. saying that word, Sasuke. Word. I word. need to start watching that show. Word, yeah. yeah a lot it's, of people I know watch that shit, man. It's, 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 a good, it's a good story. Yeah, and I think it's, I said this on other podcasts. His name is Sasuke Uchiha, right? Or is that two different people? Wait, no. Um, I know Uchiha is from. I know Uchiha, that's from Uchiha. Uchiha. Is that how you pronounce it? Yeah, I think it's around Uchiha. I'm yeah. I'm pronouncing it phonetically. I'm 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 <laughs> I'm, I'm, I'm a terrible. I don't watch anime at all. Yeah. You got damn lie. <laughs> this nigga, the reason Crunchyroll exists. <laughs> He's a first subscriber. <laughs> yeah, but what I'm saying like I'm supposed to know the information. And I, <laughs> yeah, for real, you're failing us Yeah, right I'm, now. I'm failing y'all right now. But yes. Yeah. But yes, Mr. Boomayan and Sasuke Flo. Where, where? And Mr. I Seen Black, a.k.a. Swiss Army Nigga. Oh, it's not it's, the same one. It's not, oh, yeah. No. It's too much. We got, we got too much baritone and no. For real. He got this. Woo, he, he's the, um, he's the. Tenor? Yeah. I was, <laughs> Probably, maybe. I don't know. I don't know much about choir and music and singing and whatnot. But yes, unfortunately. Well, it's not really unfortunate. It's funny what happened to him. It would be more alto, right? I'm looking at who. No, you got alto, soprano. Mm-hmm. I think al- tenor, alto is the band, highest, right? right? Soprano is the highest, I think. Yeah? Okay. No, yeah. Like, so, I, think it is, I think it is because. Are you, are you what, basing that off of rap lyric? No, 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 no. <laughs> I'm basing it off the fact that I heard someone say soprano is the highest. And then I thought, her huh, the show Sopranos. Uh, you know what I'm tenor. saying? Like, tenor, tenor is the highest. No, Soprano is the highest. Oh, it is. I- female. Oh. Uh. Tenor is the highest a male can get. Okay. Uh. That's why it was funny to me, because that's a female singing high, but this is a mob show. Word. So we, so we actually low-key roasted a scene right now by saying he's a Soprano. We roasted who? We, we roasted a scene by saying We roasted a- who? You keep saying his name. Man. Oh. <laughs> I mean... Nobody. Sorry, sorry. <laughs> <laughs> it's Black. Yeah, yeah. It's Asim Black. If, if you haven't figured out his real name by now, I mean... Don't try to. Yeah. Anyway. You're not, you know... But, but yeah, I don't know if you heard what happened to him. Oh. So, um, this man ran into somebody in the supermarket, mm. you know, wearing like a three-piece suit looking like um, uh, Secret Service and shit. Word. And they mistook him for someone. Uh-oh. And now he's on a plane... To North Dakota to do a mission, but he's too awkward to tell him I'm not the guy. Oh, snap. So he's about to be a secret agent until he's not a secret agent. For real. <laughs> it's going to be crazy. Wow. It's going to be crazy. We, we got to gotta ask him. I, I hope he has good, to tell a story when he comes back. Where, I hope the good guys find out he's not a, a secret agent before the bad guys find out. Oh, him. Lord. Where? What are you doing? <laughs> Where? You, what, what's he's the word you're like? Wire. You're <laughs> compromising the mission. <laughs> <laughs> but yes, um... It's something you wanted to tell me about earlier. Something you accomplished early this week. Oh, I didn't expect you to bring it up so awkwardly, but yeah. That was awkward? I don't know, but I made brown stew Awkward's chicken. Gone. <laughs> brown stew chicken. Yes. Ladies, he's single. He lives style. on his own. He knows how to cook. You know what I'm saying? And Put I, a ring on it. What are y'all waiting on? For the first time, bro. And it was good. Yes, I can vouch for that. It was it was good. I was just like, okay. You, you all you do, eh, all you're gonna do is get better. Yeah. The next batch you make is gonna be. Oh good. yeah, oh yeah, and the, the, the gets more delicious, sir. The the, the cook the cookbook. <laughs> TPSG coming. dictionary. Word. <laughs> TPSG cooking show coming. Yo, what if we? I'm so serious about that. 
the art. Right, I have to wanna... perfect some things first. Like bro, bro, I look, can't we, just we go can, out there. Do peanut camera. butter and jelly. Like, you know what I'm bro, saying? We could do that on camera, dog. The, 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 the comment section go make us better cooks. They'll be like, they'll be like, y'all don't know what y'all doing. You, you cut peppers like this. Nigga, you yeah, exactly. You go be the cop and say, okay. We about to poison ourselves, okay. and we about to be like, oh, okay. We ain't Thanks no for the tips. Good looking. We're going to shout you out next episode. Word. Thanks to user 815, we made this beautiful castle. Word, word. <laughs> Thanks for Trigger Finger 561 for telling us that we, could, that we couldn't bake a, 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 a <laughs> chicken in the microwave. We tried that. I'm sorry. <laughs> I guarantee you, Trigger Finger is a 15 year old white boy from. Of course. Pittsburgh or oh, something. Oh, yeah. Of course. You don't know me. I'm an <laughs> MMA fighter. I'll fuck you up. <laughs> Word. Word. <laughs> Meaning I fight. Uh, uh, <laughs> we slap box in the backyard sometimes. <laughs> and I watch fighting. I've so. seen a boxing glove before. Word. You know. <laughs> I did an essay on Muhammad Ali, so Word. I think I'm pretty versed. <laughs> I bought the kid at Sports Authority. I'm a kickboxer, damn it. <laughs> <laughs> Yo, speaking of working out, I know you not on Twitter a lot, my nigga. Mm-hmm. But earlier today, boy, <laughs> Twitter is a crazy ass place. That to wipe my eyes. <laughs> Twitter is a crazy place. If so Twitter was a place. How old would you have to be to go? First of all, Twitter <laughs> would never be a physical place. <laughs> it would. They would open it and within a month shut this shit down. <laughs> this is nobody should be here. Are you kidding me? <laughs> <laughs> like, all right. The thing about Twitter is, the, Twitter is literally like a drug. Like, you're cognizant and aware of your addiction, <laughs> such as I am now, shitting all over it, but guess who's going to go on Twitter after this episode's done? Me! You know what I'm saying? So, that's how bad it is. Like, yeah. it's such a terrible addiction, but Word. you're still scrolling, retweeting, favorited, <laughs> laughing, cussing niggas. It was, it, it <laughs> it's was crazy. Like, it, was, if it, it would be like a crowd of people were crowded in the street and everybody doing crack. <laughs> That's pretty and, aggressive. And everybody's just Twitter's looking pretty at each, aggressive. And everybody's looking at each other like, oh, you know, you, yeah. you addicted to this shit too. I guess. And like this hype is just, hey, you got some crack. Word, hey, I, is that a new part? Word, I like the crack you got over there. I'm going to do mine over here too. You know what I mean? Two different shoes? I would have never thought about that. No, that's not that shit. Is. Word. No, no, sorry. In the streets, on their phone, like. Word. Yeah. Word. Retweeting someone that's right there. Word. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Word. Giggling out. Of you in a group text and three of the people is around you and you giggling oh my at God. your phone. I'm a, vi- I'm a victim of that. I'm a, sorry, I'm a victim. I'm guilty of that. You're a Word. survivor. I'm a survivor. <laughs> <laughs> he ain't gonna give up. <laughs> but yeah, I'm guilty of that. Of <laughs> messages God. somebody in the group. Oh, oh no, 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 no. Oh, shit. Like no like, misconstruation. Like word, word, word. That's why I didn't make the joke, because I didn't want to make light of the victims. <laughs> of the survivors, I mean. <laughs> yeah, word. Two kids flying out the window. <laughs> word. Way to throw that nigga under the bus. <laughs> <laughs> I made a joke while stating something factual. <laughs> Beat that Dave Chappelle. <laughs> no, let me stop. But um, like I said earlier, on Twitter earlier, something simple. Um, just as they're, as they're on Instagram, there are pages that, you know, promote, you know, women, mm. you know, like thick women or big breasted women or big booty women or fit women, or whatever. Like, it's one of those pages. They posted this girl. Mm. She's very, as I like to say, bodacious, mm-hmm. you oh. know, lack of a, like, to, to be uh, discreet about it. Mm. You know, oh, she just, vol- say it again? Volum- well, voluptuous. There you go. Word. You know, she just popping all over the place. Beautiful. Mm-hmm. There you go, beautiful. Mm-hmm. Huggable. Like, anyway, um, <laughs> and she was working out. Mm-hmm. She was wearing like this white sports bra and these black spandex. Once again, everything does. And she's squatting mm-hmm. on a on a on a Smith machine. You know, Smith machine is one that assists you. It's not the mm-hmm. bare bar. Mm-hmm. And you know, people are retweeting like, "Oh, she's over there. We know she got surgery, mm-hmm. but she's fronting like." Fitness is what got her that body. Mm. And then the other side is like, well, if y'all know, when you get surgery, mm. you still have to work out to maintain that figure. Mm. And then the other side is like, why is she even wearing that in the gym anyway? She got, got shit all over the place. Titties hanging out. Mm. And this other girl's like, see, this white woman's wearing the same exact thing. And you never complain about the white woman. And then I'm like, y'all niggas weird. Word, <laughs> At word. the end of the day. It's all deflecting. It's all deflect. Like, you, like you would read. And, and what's crazy about it? All of them would be good points. Mm-hmm. Like it would be structured Everybody's well. Everybody's right. 
Yes, everybody's right. Nobody, nobody's wrong on Twitter. If you but, admit you're wrong on Twitter, God bless you. But then but, you are a rarity. <laughs> but, but the thing is, like, everybody has a point, but everybody wants to prove that point at the wrong time. Everybody yes. wants to prove their point to 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 break up another person's point. It's like, mm-hmm. no, you're both correct, but. Yeah, you're, you're, everything you're, has to be like life. You're butting compl- heads now. Where like. life's complicated, right? <laughs> yeah. You don't have to. Don't make it more complicated. <laughs> where you don't have to. You don't have to. You don't have to say a certain thing, and that mean you're completely against. Like I'll give you. Oh an, man! Oh, I'll give you an example, oh, that's right? a good word. That's I'll give you an example. Word. Gun control is a good example of that. Mm-hmm. Once you big bring up like gun control, mm-hmm. niggas just go straight to. Oh, but I want the right to 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 protect to bear my, arms. Yeah, protect why are you trying to take my guns da, da, away? What if da da da? da and I'm like, you're right. Mm-hmm. You do have the right to, bear to protect arms. yourself. Yeah, yeah, I agree with that. Yeah. However, <laughs> we need gun regulation. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, exactly. Like the th- all right, the thing is, they're so entrenched in their gun loving ways mm. that. Once again, they're always right about it. They can see no wrong about owning 16 AK 47s. Word, word. You know what I'm saying? And what's crazy is I might not be exaggerating. Mm-hmm. That might not be. No, this, yeah, that might be true. A nigga might own 16 AK 47s. And that's the whole point. That's the whole point you're making. A, it's a whole it's culture necessary. behind it. Yeah. You know? And sorry, sorry, go ahead, go ahead. Go ahead. I, that, that shit's like fanatical, dog. It's more so like they're so, they're so bent on like. Keeping that's the only amendment they know, yeah. And they, and they, <laughs> because they like, it's give, comfortable for them, it caters to them. That's why, yeah. And, and you give up so many, uh, so, so much other rights, you don't care, you just you want care. that moss bird, word, I you know, just to keep guns exactly. I'm, a, I'm, a, I'm not going to read through the Apple contract, no, no, no. I'm, I'm gonna use my thumbprint and my face recognition yep. and, give, and give all that, yep. But you scared of the government coming and get you. And I'm going to put all my info on Facebook. They got got what they need already. Yeah. They don't need your guns to take your shit. Like somebody said, if they wanted to, you shoot you down with a drone. And there's zero you can do about it. The the Second Amendment is all about protecting your shit. Exactly. The the only reason is that so nobody can show up. The the government can't show up with a... a, uh, Army and say, hey, this is our shit. Like, yeah. No, this is my shit. Clack, clack. Exactly. No, niggas, they don't have to do that. No. Niggas going in your bank account. Take all your. They don't have. And what to, are you going to do? Word. You can't pay for a lawyer now. Word. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Word. You can't. <laughs> like you, can't you can't go up to the up to Chase and just and shoot up Chase with the AK. No, it's I not going to happen. <laughs> you can, but you're going to jail for exactly. a while. Exactly. So pick your poison. You Word. know what I'm saying? And um and basically the but that's how Twitter is. Mm. That's exactly <laughs> how Twitter is. You you describe Twitter, but in the gun lovers way. You know right, what I'm saying? Right. And yeah, uh, sorry. Um, back to the thing. And the thing about that is, there are women on Instagram that do that. Mm. I notice. Mm. You know what I'm saying? It, oh, it's it's so sneaky. Mm. They do this thing where they delete old pictures. Mm. And then they uh, all their feed is their new body and mm. whatever, whatever. Mm. And they will sell these teas and everything. Like, mm. this is how I look like an hourglass. No. Yeah. You went to Dr. Miami. Word. And guess what? Word. There's nothing wrong with that. Mm. Some niggas love that. Mm. Some niggas love, you know, girl shape. Like, there's nothing wrong with you going to surgery. I'm not advocating for you to stop getting surgery. I'm advocating for you to stop misleading people. Mm. Stop leading people on. If, is that redundant? Anyway, Word. stop misleading people. You know what I'm saying? Word. Oh, I'm gonna get that body Word. by doing uh, sit ups and jigging this flat tummy tea. No, Word. you just gotta have a sore sore stomach and diarrhea. Word. That's what's gonna happen. Word. Go to Doctor Miami if you really want that shit. Word, word. And dare I say, it, I'm advocating against this surgery culture, man. I would say, and, and like you don't want them to, or like, I, all right, personally, personally, I feel like anything in excess. Mm. Is, is bad. Mm-hmm. So when they go, remember the old white, the old white porn models used to get the mm. cannons. I'm like, mm. relax. Yeah, yeah, you know what I'm saying. On top of that, they <laughs> stiff too. Yeah, yeah. Titty's supposed to be mushy. You're supposed to yeah. grab them and caress yeah. them. If I'm grabbing, you yeah. feel like a basketball. Yeah. What are you doing here? Word, word. You know what I'm saying. So that that <laughs> that's what I <laughs> who gets stupid. That's what I um that's what I'm against. The excess. I don't need walking this word. all over the place. Word. But if you want to get a tummy tug or a fat transfer, who, who am I to say anything? Go see, ahead. But, but see, all right. <laughs> I'm not like 
I'm not about judging anybody, right? No, of course not. It's more it's more so what's driving it. You know what I'm saying? And like yeah, Okay. That's and point. and they play on women's insecurity. Yes, facts. A lot culturally, facts. you know what I'm saying? And to mm -hmm. the point where women feel like they have to modify their body mm -hmm. to feel good about themselves. You know what I'm saying? What I'm saying is like again, and whenever a lot of time when people when when you try to say something like this, they say something mm. controlling, da da da. Like no, no, speak your truth. No, yeah, I'm just, I'm just feeling like that's. I don't like the place where it's coming from. Same, oh, that, same that's fine. Same, that's a valid thing, point. Same thing with the the Hawaiian silky perms and the weaves. It's not. Yeah, rock your not, natural hair is word, beautiful. Word. It's not so much. I'm trying to. Berries. You know what I'm saying? I'm not yeah, trying to say you don't have the right and juices. word, the right to do it. You have the right to do it. I'm yeah. not going to cry it down, but. I would love to see you rock your natural hair because I want you to see that that's beautiful. And I would play devil's advocate. Dude. Who I don't care what you want to see. You ain't my nigga, blah, blah, blah. And, and you're right. You, you are also <laughs> right. Yo, it's, but in life, it's complicated. It's a little bit exactly. of I pose a question. Can you see yourself with a woman who looks the opposite? Wait, what do you mean by the opposite? Of what you like, I guess. Oh, oh, oh. You, that natural description you give it. Oh, they, they wear, they have the hair perm. They have the hair, they, they wear the makeup everything. They wear the makeup everything. Oh. Yeah. I don't know, to be honest with you. I don't think. Teach his own. Yeah, yeah, I, yeah. Yeah, I, teach I his know. own. Once I'll again, think, if you like that, yeah. that I, I used to love that growing up. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? But then, you know, I realized, you know, which one was better, in my opinion, at least. Sure. I mean, I might still find a woman attractive. Because a woman is, is beautiful. She's beautiful. She's beautiful. You exactly. Regardless if it's a wig, or whatever. That's true. Word, word. But like to me, y'all all beautiful. Word, <laughs> word. But to me, it's just like I rather certain things. And again, it doesn't really matter what. I, it's your preference. We talked about preference earlier. Word, word, word. It's your preference. Yeah. Word, but it's it's more so where does that come from? You know what I'm saying? And it's like the the reason you you perm your hair or we've started perming your hair is to, to look more European. To look a little more like them W's. Word, mm -hmm. word. So it's like, yeah, all right, cool. That's part of the culture now. But it's like, eh, can, we can't we can let it go. I feel like... I agree with you, bro. You know what I'm saying? I, I feel like that's when we, we, can let, we can let it go. Yeah. <laughs> and then on top of that, it's kind of a detriment to women because the, the same way um, women are getting brainwashed and manipulated into you know, doing these things, that's what the men are manipulating to um, start liking. You mm -hmm. have to like someone that looks like Kim Kardashian, mm -hmm. that looks like Kylie Jenner, mm -hmm. but not someone that looks like, you know, like a, a Lupita Nyong'o. There you go. Mm -hmm. By the way, Queen. Anyway, but Word. yeah, but or, or like a. But wow, I can't believe I'm but oh, like an Angela Bassett or something. There you go. I'm trying to. <laughs> dog, when you but when you think about it, dog, like your the society really shape. Who you're attracted to? Oh, absolutely. You ever absolutely growing up? You ever you ever find a girl attractive mm -hmm. until you tell your homeboys, and then and then we were like, we were very shallow. Back yeah, then, and then they'd be like her, and then you'd be like, oh, 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 oh you're right. You're oh right, well, right. no, I was just saying. Yeah, yeah. What if? Well, yeah, word. But no, you found that girl yeah. attractive, dog, and we kind of like standing your truth. Nigga. Word, standing your truth. Dog. If, if if there's any young people listening to this podcast, mm. don't let your friends. Dictate Word. what you like or don't like because Word. guess what? If some bad or good happens, guess who's gonna happen to Word. you? Not and, them. And what's crazy? Those girls are fine now. I'm, I'm, yeah. And when I say fine, because they're they I, glowed up. Obviously, like I thought, but they, they glued up. They glued up. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> and and it's like it's uni. They're universally fine, if you will. Yeah, but we thought like, it was fine back then. Exactly. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Exactly. So does. Yeah, and 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 all shit. And like you, who who kid getting mic'd up? Oh shit! Is oh, that type of party? Oh, you understand? Oh, the quote, oh. Mike Singletary. I like this type of party. <laughs> I like this kind of party. But um, yeah. Back to that. Like as, as far as like, I, I agree where it's coming from because right now the standard of beauty mm -hmm. is Kim Kardashian and whoever looks like them, mm -hmm. whoever looks like that family. Mm -hmm. And what's funny? Here's mm -hmm. the irony. Mm -hmm. They stole those features from us. Yeah, the big lips, the yeah. big booty, the yeah. wide hips, the thick yeah. legs, and yeah. da da da. That's yeah. all from us. They kept the hair though. Yeah, they kept their Eurocentric hair. They don't mm. want that kinky, curly, bantu knot shit mm. yet. Mm -hmm. Not mm. yet, cause mm. trust me. Oh yeah, they're gonna want just it. Just like they culturally, 
just like they culturally appropriated everything else, braids, cornrows. Where are dreads? Corn, dreads too. Oh, Where? dreads was one of the first ones. Oh yeah. Then white people with that um, their dreads look like dog hair with shit in it. <laughs> Where that? You know how dog hair capes up on the back of the dog if you don't shave it. Where that? Where that? Like you have to and 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 again, this is not shitting on on, on trying to shit on mm. nobody. They like they have to like it's a whole the. The the fact that the process for for them to lock their hair is so different, mm -hmm. it's it's almost like a, it's a, unnatural. It's um yeah, it's almost yeah. like a different because when you because when they say, um when they think about us mm -hmm. and the, and their hair is like oh they're dreaded you know they didn't wash their hair for so and so and long because like no oh my because that's what because like when when like when you have like that European mm -hmm. hair you literally you can't wash hair for like months at a time. Damn, I didn't know that. Yeah, the the the, 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 the less kinky your hair is, the uh -huh. longer it takes to lock. Like mine. Took, oh no, no, yeah, that makes sense. Yeah, 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 mine took seven months to lock, and that was is that a long time or short? I don't know. What's yeah, average? I feel like like two, three months. Okay. Okay. Yeah. If you think about it, sometimes their hair don't even look like it wrap up. Mm -hmm. Yeah, which is kind of weird. You to said me. does it look wrapped up? It doesn't look like it officially goes into a, like a dreadlock. A lot, yeah, yeah that's yeah. true. It looks mashed. Yeah, because mm -hmm. it looks like it has gum in it. They cr they crochet it. <laughs> yeah, yeah, they they, 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 they don't. They, yeah, they crochet. It. And not, and not to say that not to because I don't want to discredit their dreads either. Because do it, because do it. No, because I mean, I'm do it. You, you know what I'm saying? Do what you do. Do what you do. <laughs> but because 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 niggas like to do that, like that that kind of like. Overly aggressive, like oh yeah, yeah, that you know that that blackity black blackness. Yeah, I'm like and and just once and again I, I excess. Might, I'm excess. I <laughs> mind you, I'm the worst of it. That's why I'm saying it. No, no, same here. Word. I was like, I came to grips, but I don't. I, I don't think I'm a excessive. I'm no. I'm I racist as been... fuck. I know I'm racist. Oh, racist. Yes, yeah, everyone's a bit. I'm, I'm yeah. all racist. Yeah. I say some racist on this episode we're recording right now. Oh, yeah. We talk about <laughs> W's all the time. Yeah, all the time. All the but. Time. And we have <laughs> listeners who are, who, who, it, who who are, are w's, w's. And they're the most. Uh, Y'all the most graceful people ever. Mm -hmm. No, I'm kidding. Yes. To take this abuse, <laughs> we didn't call y'all W's, crackers, white people, to take the devil, the man. Well, you are the best type of person. For there, real. If you're a W, you got to remember too that. I think racism is one of the few taught hates. Mm. Oh, absolutely. You know what I mean? Absolutely. You can't like, dislike actually, something you, can you don't understand. Mm -hmm. yeah. 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 No, no. Racism doesn't make sense. Racism <coughs> literally actually doesn't actually exist. Wait, it's once, a, it, it's a, it's, it was a creator. It doesn't like... You know what I'm saying? And all it doesn't it, make sense. It's, all it takes is interaction, bro. Mm -hmm. All it takes is interaction. Mm -hmm. And that was starting to happen. And but then you know as it was happening you know niggas was still you know making their black jokes and ah, okay da, 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 and we were starting mm -hmm. to get along and then you know sir it it started to get real yeah and then niggas started showing their real colors and they're like oh you really didn't feel that way I feel like yeah <laughs> I feel like we tried to come together too soon like people didn't people didn't really know enough or it was, was forced and nothing forces ever good so. yeah so I feel like now. Everything's like more so on the table. Like Americans are like, wow, a lot of Americans are pieces of shit. And there's you like just finding this out. Where and like, cause I, I kind of have to sympathize with kind of like middle America. Why? Know, in, in terms of like not knowing what's going on. Oh, okay, yeah. I was yeah. actually gonna say that. Yeah, that's you know what I'm saying. Cause like, how could you? Included. But do yeah, they? they are, do like, they want to know? Isolated communities, like. Like you, you're kind of you're in your utopia, but you're kind of isolated within your within your your utopia. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying to where it's like you don't really know what's going on outside. But of do you, that. like the thing is, a lot of them don't even care to know. It, that's true. You know what I'm saying that that's, that's a problem within itself. Mm -hmm. But um, back to back to the point I was trying to make about them. Um. That's a <clears throat> that's a tactic used by enemies to use your own shit against you. Mm -hmm. So, what they did, they took what they think is a typical black woman: mm -hmm. large breasts, wide hips, big booty, big lips, flat stomach. Mm -hmm. That's how they view the typical black woman. They took the best and they took all that. 
they took all the best features from the what what they once again was they think is the best feature or the features they wanted they cherry picked mm-hmm. and made it try to make it Eurocentric right. and then tell you this is how you do it. Mm-hmm. The way you look is mm-hmm. not right. Mm-hmm. I'm gonna tell you the way you look and enhance it. This right. is how you're supposed to do this shit. Right. And that's one of the most toxic things. Where for like it, it's a, it's a trickle down effect affects the women Where? the women that's what have been attracted to it it's a Where? it's a nasty cycle where yeah. uh, like I don't know man I think the fact that a woman had to take from other cultures of women mm-hmm. to look the way that most women want to look mm-hmm. is the realization that women just need to look like women and just yeah you know, do the I, I do the hard work mm-hmm. yeah <laughs> mm-hmm. the workout the sacrifice the diet yeah and trust me when I say. Mm-hmm. The flock of niggas will be coming mm-hmm. because guys love women. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Heterosexual men love women. Mm-hmm. Yeah, this, this is gonna happen naturally. It's yeah. Like it's right. <laughs> and we have some weird scales. Some mm-hmm. she gotta have pretty feet. Some mm-hmm. she gotta be breathing mm-hmm. for real. Yeah, like are you? Word. Do you have a disease? Word. Are you straight? Are Let you me married? You got all your teeth. <laughs> like Let's go. <laughs> right. You understand? <know> <laughs> it's like they're chasing the finish line, and we don't even know where to show at. For <laughs> that's true. With each other. Yeah, Word. yeah, that's true, man. It, it's a, it's a sickness, man. And, and then, and then, on, not even on top of it, not, not even taking how they are and showing them how to do it properly. Mm-hmm. It's then selling it back to them too. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? Selling certain products and services mm-hmm. because I've seen women, and mm-hmm. women hate this when you say, "Oh, you look better before." Mm-hmm. Oh, I, you know, I would have, I would have fucked you before this. You know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. But they actually do look good. Mm-hmm. But then you know you um you get hit with the well. I wasn't happy with myself. And like, All right, that, I give you that. I understand because I'm not anyone to tell you how Word. to be happy with yourself. Word. But but see that's not the <laughs> point because the, the feeling is a woman shouldn't have to take out so, two of her ribs mm-hmm. to feel happy with herself. Agreed. You know what I'm saying? Like to me, that's extreme. That's very far. To extreme, me, yeah. to 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 the point of surgery because surgery. Ain't no, that ain't, that ain't, that's not, that's not, that's not anything to play with. No, not at all. You know what I'm saying? We turned into like Play-Doh and dolls. Yeah. People don't, people don't put as much on it anymore because Word. it's so quick and it's professional now. People Word. don't get killed on the table. And, mm. but not we, as we often. Out, we're people first, still get killed on the table. We're the mm. first versions of AI. Mm. Mm. Sure. Yeah. Think they, about it. People mm. with robotic knees and mm. pretty, we're the first versions of, we're actually AI. Word. Yeah. Paul Mooney, <coughs> Paul Mooney said, "The black man is the most copied man on earth." Mm-hmm. And like, not, ooh, oh, <coughs> and it's not, dark. not to get too deep into it, but all this stuff, like a lot, like growing up, a lot of stuff I attributed to white people, mm. my people's created, but I wasn't informed. Mm. You know what I'm saying? Like, rock and roll is a great example. Mm. I knew that though because my dad ain't play that shit. Mm. He loved playing music, mm. and he would always play like the old shit is like you know. This is where it started, da da da. Right, right. You know what I'm saying? But it's a lot of it's a lot of things I attribute to white people that mm-hmm. you know that we start. And another big one is Jesus, mm-hmm. the image of Christ. Word and Egyptians. That's another one. How in the fuck? No, they. It's it, the Nile River and desert. Hot as fuck. How the hell? And you're telling how, me how are they? Caramel? Bob and Susie lived there for years. <laughs> Millions of years and they reproduced and created more of them and they Word. survived. That's Word. what you're telling me. Word. But then what Kiss they want my ass. What, man. They, what they're trying to say is be, it's beige niggas. No, it was, but they were beige. Huh, huh. There they, were probably were. There yeah. probably were. Absolutely, there, there were. were there, Somehow, uh, there were every shade, bro. Yeah, that's every what I'm saying. That's what I'm shade. trying to say. Yeah, from 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 the black as this table. <laughs> like what's crazy is it, everything. It's only recently we talked about whitewashing. They've been whitewashing since we were jits, but Word. we didn't know because they were feeding us lies as facts, mm-hmm. and that's why we're so we have so much angst and anger in us. You was lying to us this whole time. Word. That's what we're angry about. Oh, millennials are this. You fucked this up. It's your fault, bro. You told us that Christopher Columbus came here Mm-mm-mm. on the humbum. Was like, yo, I ran into this guy. Oh, y'all in there too? Was good. Word. Welcome each other. Da da da. And they had a feast for it. And them niggas had Thanksgiving and had ate Thanksgiving. turkey yeah, and corn in the cup. Mm-hmm. They didn't mention the disease and the rape and the murder though. Word. Oh, you shouldn't share, share that to a, a, a fourth grader. Nah, but they, you'd rather lie to them, bro. They <laughs> word. Fuck Just fuck say it. Christopher Columbus was not who. You think he is. I, Next lesson. Word. No I, test. 
<laughs> I think we brought out brother Malcolm Maddox. <laughs> Word. Word. Malcolm Maddox. Your ex. Yeah. <laughs> X right Word. Here. No, but like, the, like, I, like that shit has been instilled in me since I was a child. Like, mm. I know I'm my father's child because he's a bit of a, a conspiracy theorist. And he's very pro-black and he's been telling us that's telling us that shit since we were jits, bro. I you know what I'm saying? Not the Christopher Columbus stuff. The more you read <laughs> and the more you know. As a as a black person, mm-hmm. is that is it angry you are? You almost have to like take breaks from knowledge. Yo, you and had a could. fantastic quote, but you also have a beautiful history. Don't forget that. That's true. Yeah, very, yeah, yeah. That's true. And never, never, never forget where you come from. The beauty we have in our generation, mm. I think, at least for me, was I, I had a chance to discover it when I knew like how to how to take it in. Mm-hmm. I wasn't taught it in high school, middle school, elementary school. Mm-hmm. So I learned it outside of that. Got you. Okay. Word, I, word. Yeah. 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 I had, I had, you know, I said a lot on podcasts. I had, you know, I was lucky enough to have a teacher when mm-hmm. I was like 11, 12th grade that told us a lot of shit mm-hmm. that wasn't in the curriculum. Word. But it was a black history class. It was like, mm-hmm. sorry, it was, a, it was a African studies class, whatever, black history studies class. Mm-hmm. And it was like, yo, if we're going to do that, we're going to do that. We're not mm. just going to talk about, no disrespect to MLK and Malcolm X, we're mm. going to talk about Marcus Garvey, mm. we're going to talk about Mega Evers, we're going to mm. talk about um, the Black Panthers, we're going to talk about everybody. Word. You know what I'm saying? Word. So, parents right now that are our age, that are raising young children, and, expose them to the truth. And what, and, and also, what we don't talk about, and, and who brought up our, our history is beautiful, mm. they don't, they, we don't talk about our, our pre- um, pre-slavery or pre-colonial Yes, when history. we were kings and queens. Word, really? word, word. And it's, it's not even just like... Because there were, like... No, no, that's just the main the, example. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, <laughs> yeah cause, But I even I even feel a way when people say that because it's like... Even that too is more of like a humble yourself type thing. Because... Ain't everybody, no, ain't everybody was kings and queens. There were kings and queens yeah, you that were black. A country full of kings. And were, queens. but it wasn't. There were servants. There was workers. There were was chefs. Yeah, was, you know what I mean. Were. There was everybody in there. Have you yeah. ever seen Twelve Years a Slave? I did not actually. I, it was about someone that was I, already free. He's never. You've seen yeah, it. Yeah, I seen it. Yeah, you yeah, know what it was about. It, yeah. He wasn't mm-hmm. born in slavery. He was mm-hmm. a free black man, mm-hmm. and they captured him and put him back into slavery. Mm-hmm. Or so into it was going into slavery. sorry into yeah into yeah they. Mm. Yeah, and then they um, you gotta watch the movie. They, like, you, like he was a banker, right? I believe so. He was a banker. Um, Solomon Northup. He was a respected man. He was a respected man. Put it like that. He mm. wore the same shit that the rich people back then wore. Mm. You know what I'm saying? He worked at a bank and all that. Mm. But they fucked him up so bad he couldn't even go back to that. Mm. When, like he they 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 like fucked with the mind. But the point I'm making is that. Like Hold you said, up. our pre-slavery thing. We were good during slavery too. That's what I'm saying. Mm-hmm. There were free black people, mm-hmm. and there were still certain types of slavery going on, just like that. Like he mm-hmm. th- he wrote this in his journal. This yeah. is fiction. Yeah, you know what I'm saying. So not even just the pre-slavery nigga during slavery, there were Word. free black people. Word, and it wasn't even. It's not. It wasn't even the act of slavery in itself mm-hmm. that that really that really fucked over black people because people like to. Say well, they 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 had slavery in other parts of the world. Oh, right? that argument, and that is true. You know, and yeah, that is true. The Irish, you know, and, Irish love saying that. And then it's like, it's like again, life is complicated. Mm. You know what I'm saying? That your point is true, mm-hmm. but you argue it incorrectly. Exactly. You know what I'm saying? It's not so much the slavery as though that's a part of it. Mm. It's the dehumanization of people. Precisely. You know what I'm saying? And it continued. A downca- and the word and the word and the downcasting of people and the and the systematic oppression mm-hmm. of people. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? So it's not just slavery, dog. Yeah. <clears throat> like it uh Chappelle said it. Or I think Louis C.K. said it. You know what I'm saying? How long slavery was then he was like saying, like, after slavery, it wasn't like, you know, all uh, fun and games. We were still going through shit. Mm. Even when we advanced through that, we still was going through shit and so mm. on and so And we continue to go through shit. Mm-hmm. Everything is a fight. It, everything is a fight. That's mm-hmm. facts. From every mm-hmm. generation, there's always something mm-hmm. black people was fighting against that was trying to tear them down. Though. It's mm-hmm. crazy. Mm-hmm. And to this, to this second I say this, mm-hmm. I guarantee you, I hope I don't. I guarantee I'm gonna go on Instagram tomorrow. I'm gonna see a video. Some racist shit. I'm like, ah, that's what I was just talking about. Mm-hmm. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Word. 
it's but then where it is what it is (laughs) that's all i can say it's life word yeah it's life yeah but where it's like (laughs) it's like where we go from here man honestly first of all we have to understand the concept of unity Mm -hmm. and when i say unity i don't mean your friends your family i'm talking about black people as a whole Mm -hmm. and a lot of black people say oh it can't happen Mm. They're so pessimistic about it. They're mm. so cynical about it. Mm-hmm. Oh, it can't happen. Well, black people are this. You know how niggas act. Blah blah blah. Mm-hmm. And that idea, yeah, you're like one, one thing. A lot of that defeatist attitude. Oh yeah, and that blaming attitude. Crabs in a bucket. Mm-hmm. But then it's like there's no trust either. On there's no tr- side. There's no, no trust. White people there's... don't trust black people, and black mm-hmm. people don't trust white people. Yeah, mm-hmm. and it's been and a, it's been a doctrine. It's, just, it's, it's been it, a doctrine. It goes away. Like, if they were in a bubble, there should be safe zones where black and white people and all people should be able to go and actually interact. Mm-hmm. But there's not. It's all separated. We mm-hmm. live in a massive land, mm-hmm. and there's no way to do that. Word. Yeah. And they, and, that's crazy. And that separation <laughs> they've created on, on social media as well. Oh, Because everybody lives in... They got us again. Everyone lives in an information <laughs> bubble. Yeah. And everybody only sees the information that validates what they believe. Exactly. You know what I'm saying? Nobody takes things as a whole. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? That's your Instagram explore right there. Mm-hmm. It's basically what you look at, what you explore, what you do. Mm-hmm. Yeah, exactly. So oh, you like racist, this? So boop, 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 boop. Mm-hmm. Yeah, shit gonna be on your time, exactly. Mm-hmm. And like, you know, black people are so cynical about coming together and uniting mm-hmm. when they when like a lot of people know like it has happened before we have strived in our own mm-hmm. society black mm-hmm. wall street mm-hmm. bring it up every time in this podcast mm-hmm. so the thing is it is possible but it's up to you are you really about this shit that that's what the that's what the real question is are you really about unity and raising up your brother and your sister word and what when, does that when look it's like, time though? to clash or if there is a time to clash and, uh, and 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 what that looks like that looks like and not that's... tearing people down mm-hmm. not Humiliate, <clears throat> humiliating us on purpose, mm-hmm. you know. Say exploiting your brothers and sisters. Now Word. everyone's guilty of it. I know I am. Word. You know what I'm saying? I've double clicked on ratchet fight videos and blah blah blah. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? But we gotta understand that we have to rise above these ratchet fighting videos. Mm-hmm. My brother, you are more. No, we're we But we are more. You get the point I'm making. So <laughs> we are more than world star. Way more. Word. Who's owned by a black man? May you rest in peace. Mm-hmm. Founded by a black man. Word, but yes. but like <laughs> like the thing is like you don't think that should be the name of the episode. You don't think, <laughs> you don't think you don't Founded think by a black man. <laughs> oh, we're more than world star. We're more than world star. That's a well, 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 shoot, either or. Yeah. Shit, that'll get clicks. Oh, y'all more than world star. Let's see. <laughs> Word. <laughs> <laughs> that would be funny though. Word. But like it's like I don't know. It's like and people. It's just recently that I've that I've developed this attitude of like you know what, I'm not gonna be confrontational anymore. Mm. I'm not gonna argue with petty shit, fight over petty shit. I mm. pray I don't get into a fist fight. Mm. Like again, I don't want to. Word. It's gonna end bad in some way. Mm. I'm gonna lose some way, mm. even if I win. Mm. You know what I'm saying? I'm just, and it's not being passive. Mm. It's just being like forgiving and like letting Word. shit go. You know Word. what I'm saying? And if unless everybody thinks that way, not mm. saying everybody should think like me. I'm saying everybody should be more forgiving. Mm-hmm. Then you know that's, yeah, that's that's the real that's, that's the real issue stopping the unity. But, but it, it seemed like a weakness, dog. It's, it's, exactly. Where it come back. It, it come to that the, pride. The Christ, the, the Christ, he worships so much. He mm-hmm. forgave everyone. You mm-hmm. think he's weak? Mm-hmm. You Word. talk about how he laid on the cross for you and everything. You don't call him weak, do you? All Word. he did was forgive. Word. Who Word. are you? Word. Word. Who are you not to forgive Word. if you believe in Christ so much? Word. Take like you a, hypocrite. Take them to church, dramatic. No, it's. <laughs> now I don't even mean to be preaching. It's well, just. Now you're in the word. Just a, no, but for real. No, no, you're right. It's just a common sense thing. Mm-hmm. You you praise mm-hmm. this person so much, mm-hmm. and I'm not making light of Jesus. By the way, I'm a Christian. Mm-hmm. <laughs> just get that clear. Mm-hmm. But you praise this person so much, mm-hmm. but you don't follow half the things mm-hmm. he he listed down for you. I'm not even mm-hmm. talking about the Ten Commandments. Mm-hmm. I'm talking about the stuff in Bible verses, like mm-hmm. you know. How to how to treat people, and respect people, mm. forgive and mm. understand. Mm. Because at the same time, like you said, it's not a weakness. Because I feel like the um, the strongest thing you can do is the thing you resist the most. Mm. 
and a lot of people resist forgiving. Mm. So once you do forgive, you're gonna feel like, damn, mm. I was, you know, I was big enough to be the bigger person, or whatever. Mm. Don't get cocky about it. Mm. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Word. But you know, you really, you know, it, it, it's, it's, it's more, it's way more, as it's way more strength than a weakness. Mm. Because you didn't, then you like, you see how you feel, and you Word. want to do it more, and you want to encourage people to do it more. Word. You know what I'm saying? It enriches you. Word. That can't be a weakness. Nothing Word. weak enriches you. Word. At, at least I don't think so. And it, and it goes <laughs> back to that. Um, oh, my bad. I, no, I was going to say, I'd, I'd like to pose a question to you gentlemen mm -hmm. and ask, like, have you ever had to corner an animal? Yes. Okay. And you know that animal's scared mm -hmm. or whatever, but once you get it in your hand, as long as you're not like trying to hurt it, mm -hmm. it'll probably stay calm. Yeah. But know? if you move slightly quickly, yeah, it's exactly. snapping at you. Yeah. You know mm -hmm. what I mean? So let's say that in a sense, we're... Not an animal or nothing, but just in that in that mindset. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And let's say that's that a, that a white person tries to approach us. Do you think that we're we're ready for that? Like, like the reason why I bring that up is because I think a lot of white people tell you to get over it. Oh, that's and a favorite even term. We're young. That's a the favorite term. We can't get over it. It's because we we may not have been born or gone through it. Mm -hmm. But we also know so much of the history is right mm -hmm. behind us. Mm -hmm. It's, it's literally one yeah. generation behind. Like right. our parents were probably young children who witnessed these things or mm -hmm. heard about these things when it was live news. Mm -hmm. So like, I mean, we, <laughs> you know what I mean? I mean but that's crazy to but think it, about. But then the thing is, we've witnessing. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, yeah, that's live and that's and we, it's a continuation. And we, so and it's we like, see the injustice uh -huh. too. And we see the like, how do we get around that? Mm -hmm. All right, because it it seems like that would just be the end all circle where it just keeps going. Word, I feel like like do you, you think that's what you, God meant for us to be in this ultimate turmoil? You know, I've thought about that. You know, <clears throat> about it serves no purpose other than to remove human mm -hmm. beings and keep the population down. Mm -hmm. sit, 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 sit. Word. I mean, that that that, that <laughs> is that. <laughs> well, it would, right? well, it's a deep yeah. thought because it's like no, nah, it is, it is. Because ultimately, when you when you look at the 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 excellence that's born out of struggle, the excellence that's born out mm -hmm. of um, of lack of resources, of the needing to, because mm -hmm. you literally have to be the best in order to just. Get out. Get out. Not to succeed, to, to get, get out. To, to get out. You know what I'm saying? And it's like, you, it, the pressure to be the best of the... Like, when you, th when you think of the, the, the limitation, because we see, you see, you see, you see white, white people who aren't the best of the best mm -hmm. go to the absolute top. Oh, absolutely. No, what... You know, and, and it's not even that white people celebrate mediocrity. It's word. just they just think they're so much better than us. Like they will, you know what I'm saying, and promote people and do word. whatever. And, and, they've, and, and it's to the point where it's not even, at their point, this generation, you can't, I guess you can't put all the blame, but they benefit off of the connections and the resources that's been built for them. Mm -hmm. So they're they're just living life and they're like, all right, cool, cool and, and things are coming this way mm -hmm. and they can't even understand like the struggle of, of people over here. So yeah. it's like where you like you gotta compete to when you look at sports, when you look at the job oh, yeah. market, everything, you gotta be the best of the best. Yeah, just yeah, yeah. Just, just to, to get recognized. Like just to get recognized. The difference right? is think about how many great athletes you knew growing up. Oh yeah, <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Just like dudes, you knew those was fast. Yeah, you, you just impot just random dudes in the neighborhood just just do crazy stuff, mm -hmm. and you know for a fact with the right opportunity and 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 whatever they could have made money based off their athletic athleticism. Yeah. But, but they the just fun, unfortunately the funnel is so tight. Oh, it's so so it many is. things gotta align. Yeah, you know what I'm saying? You gotta have you, so many people behind you. Word, so word. Yeah. It's crazy, man. You get injured for two years. They toss you to the side like you can't get fit at exactly. 20-something, 20 28. Like, people, like, you, 
you're literally your body's in its prime up into its like into your 40s I mean, yes yeah. people don't realize that, like you're, you're able to late 20s to mm-hmm. about your 40s yeah your that's prime. is your prime yeah. Athletic prime. Athletic prime. Well, let the athletic would probably be around thirty six. Word, but like okay. as a human being. Word. Yeah. Word, like you could, you could, you could work at it, and you could, you could um, build your body to certain heights. Mm-hmm. But people like it's like a, it's such a tight window, and if this, and it's it's almost like a. Um, uh, the fetus mindset. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Yeah, and then like the people run running it is it's it's kind of like it's it's almost like uh, you picking. Animals, uh, it's like almost. It, it it is. It's like well, this one's fit. Just you know, it's it's younger than this one. So this one is. This is the length of this one's arms. Word, you word. Know what I'm saying, word. you can jump how high. Word. You know so, what I'm saying, but, but <laughs> I still watch this. Shit. Word, but I mean, we've had that <laughs> conversation before too. But it's like yeah, hey, but it, it's still an issue. But then go back to the point where it's like because we have to work so much harder. Mm-hmm. It it kind of it kind of gives us more of a drive to where it's like where their complacency, you know, we, it it can the sh- the paradigm shift mm-hmm. is you can see it starting to happen, and they can too. That's why there's such a surge in so they hate now because mm-hmm. the people who on it because honestly there's no it's. Uh, what it what it really is 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 human development at the end of the day. Yeah, you know what I'm saying. We separate ourselves white and black, but at the end of the day, we're human. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying. We don't take credit for each other's achievements. We say, you know, black people did this, white people did that. At the end mm-hmm. of the day, humans did that. If this was bird box, we would help each other. Word, <laughs> Word. <laughs> right? Exactly. You know what I'm saying. And we all should take ownership and and take, you know, representation from that. Mm-hmm. So so instead of like saying, well, you know, all these white dudes are astronauts, well, it's like all these humans are astronauts. I can be an astronaut too, then. Exactly. You know what I'm saying? And it's getting to a point where, um, phonetically, mm-hmm. it's gonna it's gonna start looking like that. And then mm-hmm. you know the paradigm shift and people who are anti like, um, anti black see that coming, and that's why they're working so hard now to keep the status quo. I ain't heard shit right in a minute. <laughs> You're right though. But what I got from that, what I got from that is You're telling me the white race is gonna be extinct soon. Yeah. <laughs> That's Word. all I understood from that. Word, and that I'ma say it again. I'm gonna give the strategy in code. The answer is love. Yes. Word. I can't do it though. I, I love my Ebony Queens too much, but Oh yeah, I absolutely. Am, I, I am absolutely. Mad at you. Absolutely. absolutely. Now <laughs> Stop shaming these interracial couples, cause they're their future. For real, they're they're all y'all gonna look they're like. what gonna they're <laughs> what's gonna make your future bright. Those interracial couples. Stop shaming them, damn it. <laughs> <laughs> We're gonna be living in the NBO new beige order. Exactly. New beige order. Exactly. <laughs> I'm already the president. Of that I'm kidding. <laughs> I'm Everybody not only a client. Where? Everybody gonna I'm look like Blake Griffin. <laughs> Oh shit! <laughs> now uh, you see crazy shit on Twitter, mm. and I'm just gonna transition this to the Soldier Boy. Mm. <laughs> so he went on a Breakfast Club. If you didn't see, <laughs> of course, talking that Soldier. cash money <laughs> word from the top to the bottom shit word and mm. newsflash word he's kind of right. <laughs> For, okay. He's kind of right. He, does have a he lot just of didn't action. come across. In a way you could accept them. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? You automatically see them as, oh, shut the fuck up, crank face. Mm-hmm. Crank that this, blah, blah, blah. That's all I see you as. Mm-hmm. However, mm-hmm. that nigga's you know, a great businessman. Well, he's a great he businessman. He's a lot of false shit, too, though. Like, yeah. he was like, I gave shit and was like, yeah. so, no, okay. no, 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 no. Okay. No, no, no. See, no, no. At the same time, you said, he's, he's an idiot. At so, the same time, hold on, hold on. he so, brought up good points, though. So, who, who said he said some false thing? Yeah, he did. I don't believe shit that nigga say. Yeah. Somebody somebody dug in the crates for this. Remember the beginning of um that Drake song? I get that. Did you see that one? That part. Okay. I give that's him that. what he does. He takes things and embellishes it. Okay. Just argue on that. Mm. Don't say I created Drake. Relax. 
You know word, what I'm saying? Just word. say he bit that from me. Word, because a lot but of anything he says about the Drake, internet. Because Drake, Drake took a lot of hundred percent. Exactly, he's a biter. Word, but they call it paying homage. Word, no, no, he's biting. He, you think he's paying homage to Soldier Boy? Word, you know, Drake don't give a fuck about Soldier Boy. He's biting. Duh, Come like, on, and he thought nobody would know because I didn't even know that song existed. Word, but so he like, tricked me successfully. But it's like, okay, here's my thing. Uh huh. Here, two things he's one thing he's right about. He did start the internet. Oh, way absolutely. Way. He gets all the credit. He did, <laughs> but then that's a double edged sword. Oh, of course. Because he brought in the bullshit. Yeah, you open the floodgates for little everything. Where do you know what I'm saying? He brought Just it, run it in here. There's brilliance among like. Of course, it's yeah. A, in the floodgates, there's a lot of bullshit mm-hmm. with some with some with some gems in there. Mm-hmm. And, and you just got to look for the gems. But then a lot of give people me a just percentage. Grab, I would say. I would I would even say, give it a, a a pretty big percentage. I would say 50, 50, 60, 40. I would say forty. I would say forty is just like quality original. Whatever, and I think I feel like the rest Good sounding of, and music. I, word, and, and it's I not feel, just hip hop or rap. Word, either. and I feel like <laughs> the rest of it may it it might be quality. Mm-hmm. Just sound, just riding a wave. Yes, most music out there is just riding a wave. Yes, you, absolutely. You hear it, it's just a sound, and it's like, okay, this. Oh, is just you're a just sound. trying it out now. Word, yeah. you sound like so and so. Yeah, and I don't. I mean, I don't like that. You, know you ain't I mean? nice. You sound like Jay Z too. Word, <laughs> word. So it's like. Of 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 everything, forty percent is original, mm-hmm. and of that forty percent, I would say like twenty percent is just just quality, just amazing shit. Got but, you. But then so it's like yeah, he, a lot of people like are like you know he created all he destroyed hip hop and 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 he brought it as like well no see, all right see that's the thing he that that's also a double edged sword the mm. you killed hip hop thing because mm. what do you consider hip hop mm. a lot of people always go straight to lyrics i'm mm. like that's a that's a part of it but that's mm. not the only thing mm. they hated soldier boy because he wasn't lyrical mm. he wasn't saying anything he was just mm. having fun mm. what was one of the first big hip hop songs that ever come out it was a dance song i said a hip hop Hit it, it, hit it to the hip, word, hip part, and the whole tail motor. It was the same word, thing. A part of hip, you know what I'm saying? A part of hip hop is the dance stuff. Absolutely, that's, it is. Uh, so he didn't kill. It. It take, there's there there is riding around your car, uh-huh. bob your head music. Yeah, and there's I'm at a party, um, vibing music, and uh-huh. then I, mm. there's I'm in the strip club music. You know, what I'm there's saying? so and many subgenres. Word, it's and crazy. I, I, I we appreciate it all. Now, but the wh- thing is, the thing is with him. It's like there's a way to do things. Absolutely, it's right. And, and, and the thing is, like, it's like it's not like people don't know. People give Soldier Boy his credit for yeah. that shit. Mm-hmm. But the thing is, Soldier Boy is trying to like get like trying to get things from like talking about people owe him a percentage. Like the world don't work like that, that bro. <laughs> yeah, I but nobody owes you shit. Boy Unless they bitch or shit, a, that's different. Like, like, like from a hurt place. That's what mm-hmm. that shit felt like. Mm-hmm. I saw, I saw a quote on Instagram where it was like, um, also like you're saying, you know, I can't be mad at Soldier because all he's doing is asking for his credit for something he did create the internet. Mm-hmm. However, mm-hmm. when you came out and the old heads was like, give us our credit, mm-hmm. you said, suck my dick. Mm-hmm. And you're here now. So mm-hmm. on that side, I don't really feel sorry for you. You're getting a big dose of your own medicine. Mm-hmm. However, from a, you know, a, regular standpoint like you know he is right and um one thing i do attribute to him killing is mainstream mm. what's fed to us automatically what's on the radio mm. and vi- that's what he killed because mm. i remember a time where Whoa. i could turn on the radio and hear outcast pop mm. biggie and it wasn't throwback thursday mm. you know what i'm saying quality hip hop he killed mainstream mm. that is all his fault yeah mm. i'll give him that mm. but hip hop as a whole no he's yeah. just another subgenre mm. and you should you should give him his props because he's creating you want these young black mm. niggas to create right Word. he created so much shit Word, but however mm. it's so many howevers but like i like it's it's it's, it's like you kind of understand his viewpoint for, but for me i just mm. be like look you make some good dance music, but that's about it. I don't even look at Soldier Boy like that. But, I still love my hip hop, my rap, but, but yeah. when it comes to Soldier Boy time and all mm. that, there's a time for that. But mm. that's not the main thing I listen to. I'm not. I've never listened to a Soldier Boy album. Word. Here's here's the thing. Soulja Barely watch a whole video. Here's the thing. Soldier Boy <laughs> should have been growing up. What's that? 
one trying to trying to prove that he's gangster first of all. Oh, uh, that that, that backfired hard. so badly. He he's you're too old for that. He's my age. Yeah. What? You that think, nigga's knocking on 30's door. Bro, you too old for this shit. Yeah. What you got to prove? <laughs> Nobody's out there talking about Soldier Boy's a pussy. Who and cares? if they do, throw a stack of money he in their Soulja face. Soldier Boy can't go to the hood. Who, so so what? Why do I want to go back? What exactly? For dude, niggas can't niggas can from the hood can't come to my neighborhood, nigga. There's a gate. Exactly. <laughs> the guard go ask you he questions, nigga. Called, you can't right? come nowhere I stay. Pookie. It's a popular term, but this is called right now. Mm. Kind of sound like a cloud. Oh, clout, uh, clout chasing. He hella clout chasing. But oh, I, oh, absolutely, he's clout chasing. Bro, I can't believe I just use that term. Bro, he's he's trying to prove that he's hard, and two, he's trying to prove that he's rich. Mm-hmm. Two things you don't have to prove because we know the answer to both of them already. Mm-hmm. Yes, you're rich. You're very rich. Mm. But that's not thing, hard. That's <laughs> like, the thing, dog. I don't know. No, no, no. I, he has he has other ventures. But he, he, the, the whole thing he did with Microsoft. Now he has a soldier game console, which is basically what um, Super Nintendo's doing, loading the old games mm. on a cartridge and selling to as retro. Mm. He's doing that, mm. but with other games and whatnot, not, mm. not just old games. Mm. And he has a handheld one that looks like a, a, a Switch. Mm. I think he has one that looks like a PS4. Mm. Um, it, and um, he has headphones and stuff. He, mm. He has other ventures. But I'll give him that, but he's still a, he's stupid. Like he's, then, just, but then, he's still I, a goofball. There you go. He's what, a goofball. He's not, a rich okay. goofball. I think I think I really I, I think I pinpoint what I'm mad at. Okay. <laughs> Cause he's the, the the it's the marketing strategy. Uh, and, and we okay. allow Soldier Boy to use it every single time. Yeah. The I'm a I'm a act fucking crazy. Yes. And that's people it. gonna talk about me. That's about that's and it. And I'm gonna sell my shit and I'm gonna move on. And it's like it's what it's what everybody is the same. It's cooning. It's, it's cooning. cooning bro. Yeah, the same. I got to check though. Right. Boom, he gang rap shit again. Huh? Oh, he ruining rap again. The all over again, you know, like bro. And then, I like, I can't even get mad because we're talking about him. But then, yeah, so but many we're bringing up points. You know? well, but but <laughs> but so many people is like, come on my platform. Come on my platform. It kind of just because re- he brings the attention, but, and that's all they want. But yeah, dog. But then it's like. It's it, it's like at what cost? Are you saying? Exactly, we validate right. a lot of the cooning and Soldier Boy. If anything, is a lot of cooning, and we talked a lot. So, oh yeah, I'd say that's about the episode. Yeah, but um, we appreciate y'all listening though. Word. You know, make sure Word. you follow us on Twitter, Spotify, SoundCloud, and everything. Mm. And um, you know, pray for. Mr. Swiss Army nigga. I oh, really yeah. hope he is a Swiss Army word, nigga on the spy mission. Where he's Swiss Army and for real. For real, for word. real. And this is Flaka Zulu, aka Nicodemus, aka Sir Black Style the Third, aka Pablo Escovich, aka No More, aka Stop the Violence. Bro, bro, it's your boy Dramatic, aka Way Chappelle, aka Wave McGrady, aka Black Galifianakis, aka NDN, no do rag necessary. Word. And this has been ways. half. Oh. Hold up, hold up. Ooh. Oh, oh yeah. Make a little outro. Word, uh, word. Fly out this the window. Is, uh, first time or second time. Who kid aka Is that your Max? <laughs> aka hit record. AKA five four three two we out. Hey. hey. <laughs> <laughs>